I didn't think I was a drug addict. I thought I was just a kid having fun. I felt worthless and I had a lot of feelings of feeling alone. You know, I thought I was different everyone. I thought I was better. I wasn't a drug addict. For the longest time, I lied to myself so much. I had no care for anyone else but myself. Like, I, re I really didn't care. I really, I hated myself. I hated who I was and what I was doing. And I thought that I couldn't change it. Every time we heard an ambulance, a fire engine, we would cringe. When the phone rang at night, we would pray that he was OK. You don't know what's going to happen to them. You don't know if it's going to be, if their life's going to end because of the things that they're doing. The life she was leading now had led her to leave our home and our family and go God knows where. And I didn't know at that time whether I would ever see her again. They're not drug addicts. They're not sex addicts. They're not criminals and thieves and liars. They're children that have made bad choices. Their behaviors do not define who they are. And when we got her back and we brought her up here, um, we knew that she was going to be OK. And I think I slept through the night for the first time in you know months. We were told the story about Lifeline in a phone conversation. And, and there was a huge amount of trust. We had to trust what they're telling us. By the time parents give me a call, they've tried everything that they can think of. And nothing is working. And what I feel like that Lifeline offers parents is a sense of hope, that there is a chance that um, their child can make some changes. Within 15 minutes of being here um, and seeing all the families and the love and, and the kids and just feeling this spirit of love all around us, we just, I knew for myself that this is where she needed to be. You'll see growth in your child in the first two weeks. And once you see that so quickly, you want to be involved. I think most parents that come into Lifeline are so desperate that they're willing to do anything, but they're afraid of offending their child. They're afraid of upsetting their child and they may never see them again. In 16 years of being a Lifeline, I cannot recall one child that has not forgiven their parent for placing them in treatment. It's nice to be able to go home and tell my dad that I love him every night and my mom. I don't know, I guess I can't, I can't really think of my life without this place. Um, it's like, it, it saved like my spirit. Um, Lifeline has given me, <clears throat> well, I don't really know how else to say it, but like my life, like it's given me uh, happiness. It's given me freedom, real freedom. Like, I don't feel like I always have to be doing something like drugs to feel better about myself or to feel better about life. Since I've been here, I found out who I truly am and who I want to be what I want to work for in life and where, where I'm going. I feel that Lifeline has really shown me um, what, what I can do and who I can be. My parents are my best friends, probably the only people I have right now. Getting honest is probably the most significant part of anyone's recovery. Addiction, obsessive behaviors, uh, family dysfunction, all of those things that, that weigh our lives down um, are, are kind of like holes in our souls. But it, well, it's an amazing process. I think the whole thing um, from beginning to end and just watching a child develop back into their, the person they were supposed to be. I think one of the things that really attracted us here was the, the approach, that it's a very family-oriented approach. The, the situation you're in affects the whole family and it takes the whole family to help fix it. Despite all the things that's happened between us, I really love my family and miss them a lot. I cherish their, um, their support they give me. Coming home! <laughs> We know there's hope. We had no hope before. This program is just so unique. It, it, boy, it, it's, it changes your life, not just the child's life. It, it, it's changed our life. It's changed our family. I see kids come into Lifeline feeling scared, um, not feeling confident about themselves, 
and for the first time in their lives, they feel successful. For the first time in a long time, they enjoy being with their families. And I think Lifeline is about putting families back together again. I have the utmost gratitude for my parents right now. They, um, they've saved my life. Um, I love them so much and I appreciate them for everything they've done for me. I feel like my future has happiness in it and, I, and I'm ready for whatever is next. Like I feel like I'm a much better person now. I feel like I can go out in the world and be somebody. Going through this has been a process of seeing that potential come out and seeing who she truly is come out and that's just been a joy for us. For us, the, the day we brought her in uh, was, was the, the toughest, toughest day, I think, if I could say that, uh, of our life to that point in time. And yet the day um, she graduated is, uh, is one, of the, one of the best days. He's the light of my life. I, I tell him all the time I adore him. And he says to us that he wants to give back to his family what we've given him over the past several years, but he lost sight of. It's, I, I can't even explain now, like, the good feeling, how excited I am for life because I know where I'm going. My whole family is my everything. Um, they, they have saved me. They're like my angels in disguise. Uh, our daughter came in a 16-year-old going on 13, and she graduated a 17-year-old going on 25. Um, with a little help, you really can change and become the person you want to be. It feels like they've really saved our family. The gratitude that we feel toward this, getting your child back, it, is it, I don't know how you can even describe it. Uh, Eric and I never had a good relationship. We always had problems, and Lifeline has taught us how to have a relationship. I have a son I never knew I had. Emily's always, always been a, um, uh, um, a special girl and uh, a good kid who, who um, as the slogan for Lifeline says, when good kids make bad choices, who just makes some, some bad choices. And she is now uh, everything that um, I always envisioned her to be when she was a little girl.